Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jeff Arukin here, and today I'm bringing you an update video on my account. Woohoo! Uh, now I looked back on our channel and realized the last time I made an update video was December 24th, and that's just unacceptable. Uh, that's over a month ago, considering it's the 27th of January now. Um, so yeah, here's an update video on my account. Uh, in the background, you're just seeing a few clips of me gaining some levels. Uh, I don't think these are in any particular order. And I generally don't do these types of clips because it's annoying to bring up record every time you want to level and all that. Um, Vice recorded, I think, starting at 1895 total. Uh, so as you'll see at the end of these clips, I do get a 1900 total level, which is awesome. Huge achievement for me. Um, not only does that keep me still at the highest rank MC or like the number one MCFS as far as levels go, um, it gets me ever closer to my main account, which is my, which is kind of a a goal I've had ever since I started this account really is to catch up with my main and even surpass it. My main right now I think has 2,001 total. So, I don't know, that's kind of low considering I've played this game for seven years and I've had this account for what, seven months and I'm only almost in a hundred levels away from that. It's crazy. Um, another thing, I was kind of surprised, I guess it's not really surprised, but people think my main is going to be like some max, max account, comp game account or whatever just because I'm the highest in Max K from scratch, but that's not the case at all. My main is incredibly newbie. I think I have like eight or nine skills in my Max K from scratch that are that have surpassed my main, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Um, I've never even have, had a 99 before in my life, so it's going to be cool when I get my first 99 ever on an account that's entirely from scratch. So that's cool, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, let these clips roll out. And then I will get into some live commentary where I'll show you my stats, my bank updated, and a few other things I have in mind for you. And welcome to the live commentary part of this, you know what I'm doing. Just turning my bank ahead of time, it's not okay. Yeah, so here I am in the Piscatorius. Go away, no one likes you. I'm in Piscatorius hunting, fishing colony. I don't even know what my skills I'm doing. And I'm here to show you some of my stuff. So, right here I could show you my skills, right here I could show you my total experience, right here I could show you my money pouch, and here I can show you all my crap that I've gathered up. Um, those are the bomb fishers bird, because I just finished the fishing inventory. I think first, I'll show you the thing you probably care about the least, and that is my total experience. And, BAM! It's about 47.1 million, that's a few thousand less than what it actually is, because I set the counter right after I started. Unfortunately, that's not true representation, but there you go. 47.1. I think my main is about at, I don't know, like 80 something. So again, I kind of want to catch up to that, so I'm getting close to that. And my money pouch, um, I've got 3.9 mil, also 750k in my kingdom of miscellanea. I've been doing that every day to get a lot of maple logs and seeds for farming. Um, <laughs> this would be a lot bigger, except the other day I dropped 1.9 million GPs on summoning, um, put a damper on my day, it hurt quite a bit, but it had to be done, uh, yeah, so used all my green charms on that, so let's see, 168 combat, it's pretty cool, um, let's start showing you my crap now, um, so not, not, there's been a few changes here, and I'll note them out, but if you go back to my previous vids, uh, you'll notice this tab is my crap tab, um, I have a bunch of flowers, I had some natural <laughs> seeds, I was like, screw it, I'm growing them, I uh, ended up getting a white flower, so kind of cool. Um, small summoning crate with barker toads, what a waste. Um, seaweed, I try to buy those every day, and got good orts. Um, here's my range tab. Uh, honestly, my range gear is my favorite. Uh, what you see here is two armadillo crossbows. I have a bank spacer. Yeah, Tyler and I got three of those in a row, so Tyler ended up getting one, and I got two, which screwed my LSP over for life. Um, and they only opt for 24k, so I, I really just have it as a bank spacer, and... I don't know. There you go, there's that. And then I have a Carol's Coif, a Cannon, my Serodomen's Murmur, which is how and I also got a Serodomen, obviously. Everything, I've got a bunch of Black Dehyde Van Braces, I don't know why. Everything else is kind of the same. I might have tidied up a bit since last time. Um, on this tab, my Warrior Ring, that I've always had, well, not always had, has, ever since I went to TKs. Um, my Chaotic Longsword, I don't believe I had in my last video. Um, I use it all the time. I've already charge it up once as you can see here it's down to 20% charges again so it's just like new I guess but not really I'm gonna have to dish out a bunch of tokens for that um, and what do we have here whoa two Tokar cows um, yeah a, a few of you guys might have 
remembered a video put a few weeks back on the channel. It was a road to Onyx, and in there I was planning on getting 2.7 million Tokel. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to end up doing that anymore, because you'll see here in a couple tabs, I kind of already finished that. I still might go to Tezar Creatures every once in a while for fun, but I'm not planning on it. Uh, yeah, again, I've already got a bank space Tokar Cal, and I did this right before they nerfed Rejuvenation, so I ended up doing the entire kill without any food, and I think like two doses of prayer, only because I had to pray on Jad. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad to get those out of the way. And uh, for those of you here wondering, Tyler also has one as well, but he only did it once, so he just has the cape. Um, onto my mage tab. Uh, nothing's really changed here. I think I got a few more different types of runes. Oh boy. Uh, a few teleport tabs, mostly from Squeal of Fortune. And I made about 26 of these or something like that. Doesn't really matter. Uh, my Berserker Ring, uh, Arcane Stream Necklace, and Gown of Subjugation. Um, full Lunar, just because I think it looks kind of cool. And I did the quest finally. Uh, again, nothing really has changed there. Onto my skilling tab, which I have reorganized since last time. Um, so at the top I have all my logs, and my bars, and my gems, and as you can see here I have two cut onyxes, all from the fight kiln. Uh, this is kind of a troll, uh, let, me, let me show you this actually. Uh, the crafting guide, let's go to jewelry, so you see onyx amulet, that's what you need to make an amulet of fury. And I was like, oh boy, I can boost that easily, just get some stews, so I go, and spend like 30 minutes getting the right kind of stew to boost for the 84 crafting and I go I get the boost and you need 90 crafting so thanks for the troll jagex I appreciate it so I'm pretty much saving these until I get to 85 crafting so I can painfully boost up to 90 uh, let's see I have a bunch of planks I'm um, gonna use this for construction later my 100 almost complete or, yeah 100 construction uh, outfit uh, my almost three outfits of lumberjack my stews for when I want to get boosts. This is all my farming stuff. My pendants, I destroy these after I um, finish using them, basically. And I think I do have recharge gems. Let me see. Yes, I do. I can recharge a pendant if I want. Cool beans. Um, and another thing you might notice here is 138 black dragon hide. Now, one of my goals on this account lately has been to try to get a visage or visage. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Um, a few of you might have seen Brops' video where he got one from the Queen Black Dragon, and I have done pretty much everything I can think of to get one. I know they're like one in thousands of chance of getting, and they're extremely rare, but I, I still want one. I want the Dragonfire Shield. The Anti-Dragon Shield is just absolute crap. Look at those stats. That's pitiful. Shouldn't even be a piece of armor. Might just throw it away, but I need it because I like killing dragons. Um, and I have a little drop log here of all the bosses that... Tyler and I have done, or just whatever I've done. So at the top you see Sarah Doman, and we used that for the Sarah Doman compilation video. So you got the 151 Zami. I'm up to about 125 log kills on there. And then you see King Black Dragon. So, yeah, King Black Dragon. So I've got 200 <laughs> registered kills with King Black Dragon. Most of those have been solo kills. Um, a few of them have been with other people. Uh, also, some with the MCFS Max masses and all that. What's frustrating is not only did I not get a visage, but in 200 kills I got absolutely nothing. Like I didn't get a, an ornament kit. I didn't get the the what are they Dragon Rider gloves or boots. I just got the same crap drops. Um, one thing that is good is it has about an 80% drop rate of Crimson Charms, and it drops four at a time, so that's good. And another thing I just started getting into was Queen Black Dragon. And I only killed one, and then I ran out of food in my bank, so I've been doing Monkfish recently. To try to counteract that, um, the disconnection between the bones and the hides because I've used the bones and I'm saving the hides till I get a lot more. I'm just mass crafting it once. On my summoning tab, um, I recently used my green charms and made those 720 bunyips. So that should last me for a very very long time. Did a lot of temple trekking to get all the sharks, which took about two hours. Not a big deal. Um, and those for those of you who are wondering, temple trekking is about the same as it used to be. Uh, at least at my level. Yeah, so leave it at that. I don't feel like talking about that anymore. Um, so my summoning tab has been combined with my food tab, since having a food tab is kind of pointless. Um, so you've got 372 Monkfish, which should last me for about 15 or so Queen Black Dragon Tails. You just blow through food there. Uh, maybe as I start doing it more and get better, I'll use less. Who knows? Um, onto my farming tab. Uh, so I've been getting into a lot of farming lately. I think it's Honestly, one of my favorite skills now, just because it's so much more rewarding. 
on the max key from scratch to see yourself get a high level in farming after you gather all the seeds yourself. Um, and it doesn't cost loads of money. Like, I don't know, it's a really well balanced skill. Like, if you do the, the lower stuff, the allotments, and gather everything and, and save it up, it, you use all that to pay for the higher end stuff, and then it, it just builds on itself. And I really just enjoy the skill as a whole. It's kind of like a puzzle. Um, but I guess I'm weird. Yeah, I'm a freak. Anyway, farming tab. I've got a few good seeds there at the bottom. Joy. And onto my potions tab, my herbal tab. As you can see, I've got a few a few rows. I've got say a few serums, ranging potions, super tax, prayer potions, anti fires, super defense, super energy, super anti poison, super strength, and super restore. Alright. And just keep those there conveniently so I can just click this button and deposit all my potions no matter what state they're in. And all the potions that I don't use anymore, like attack potions, I made them all into four doses. Uh, these are all my herbs. I've got quite a few. Um, yeah, I can't... If I have any in my bank, it's, I pretty much just ran out of secondaries. That's why I still have them. I need to go on a secondary gathering day for that. Um, yeah, so there's that 186 bird nest just from kingdom, from everything, built up over time. Um, on to my last tab, which is kind of just a random tab as well. Um, also kind of a drops tab. So as you can see here, three effigies. Now, a lot of you would be like, what the heck, that's so freaking lucky. That's awesome. Um, even though one of them is a thieving effigy and I'm only one level away from being able to use it. Um, it's kind of frustrating because all three of those are from Zamorak. Two of them are from one trip. Uh, but the thing is, I've gotten all three of these effigies before I've gotten a decent drop. I think the only drop I've gotten in the time was the Boots of Subjugation, which are right here. I mean, they're good boots and all. They have the prayer bonus and, and good armor and decent life bonus. But seriously, Jagex, three effigies before a good drop there. It's just annoying. Because uh, especially since the effigy rate is extremely nerfed. I think Epitome went from, what, like 80 Slayer to 99 Slayer without even seeing one. And I get three of them before getting a drop. I mean, that's cool and all, but I'd rather have a drop from Zamorak. Um, also, I think I'm about 13 hours dry there. So that's slightly frustrating and I'm waiting for the time where all that luck just comes back to me and I get back to back to back to back drops and all that um, so yeah I kind of keep my slayer drops just things I find cool um, this is also a tab for my uh, 2.7 million tokel series and all that because I wanted to get that but again I'm probably not going to end up getting that um, two QBD heads from the solos yeah that's about it nothing really to show here except the Zamrat kill so that's it for my bank, and I'll show you guys something else I have been working on. So as you saw my bank, I did have the Chaotic Longsword, and I can teleport, let me show you. Alright, I'm there. So if I go to the Rewards Trader and look at my tokens, see so I have 177,000 tokens, so I'm getting really, really close to another Chaotic. And you guys might, I don't even know, get mad at me for this, but the I think the next Chaotic I'm going to get was a chaotic kite shield uh, mainly because I want to do a lot of Zamorak, Bandos, and um, and Barrows um, and since I always end up taking at bosses having a Totes Kit Zill or whatever it's called I mean it's a decent shield but this thing's essentially three times better than that as far as armor rating goes ever since the exponential curve so that's cool um, Tyler and I have been doing a lot and I think he just got his chaotic staff which is really cool um, and the reason I say I wanted this for Barrows is since I have a Batwing wand, the accuracy on that now is just so poor and it just doesn't cut it. Um, the only way I really can do Barrows is by using a CLS. And I went there last night and did a couple runs to test it and it hits just fine. So I'm really excited to get this. I'm really close. And not only is it Beast Shield, it looks freaking awesome. Oh uh, yeah, so that's that. And there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. And it's a video series that Tyler and I have coming out. And I've mentioned it in the French chat. A few times and kind of have not told you guys what it was and I'm still not going to tell you what it is uh, but, but I'd like to apologize on the, the delay of getting that out so late it's really an extensive it's a series of guides I'll say that much but it's really the first one we're making is really really extensive and Tyler and I have it all mapped out we just haven't taken the time to sit down and, and get clips and, and make voice narrations over all of it and all that but now that I'm saying that it's going to be out soon on this video right now that should be motivation enough for us to get it out soon for you guys because uh, we think it's going to be an awesome guide. It's it's geared towards MCFS, but anyone can use it, uh, and we think it's going to be really good. This series is hopefully going to bring a lot of people 
outside of MCFS into it, and maybe we can even expand the MCFS, uh, the challenge group. Oh, that reminds me of another thing, the clan. Da, 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 da. Um, we recently got a Citadel, I think it was two or three weeks ago, and we've been doing some capping, and it's been a lot of fun, and then it kind of died off. I think we needed 14,000 resources a couple weeks ago, and we fell short by about 2,000. Um, that's just kind of frustrating to me, because I, I remember... For the longest time, we were all begging Brobson to give us the Clan Citadel, and for the longest time, he wouldn't because he knew people wouldn't cap. And then I started asking around. I was like, hey, if we got a Citadel, would you cap? People were like, oh, yeah, man, I'd do that free experience. Oh, boy. And then we get it, and that lasts for about two weeks, and now no one caps. Um, granted, I haven't done mine yet for this week. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Just had to get that off my chest, I guess. Uh... Oh, I haven't even shown my skills yet. What am I doing? <laughs> so there's my skills right now. As you saw at the beginning of the video, I got 1,900 total. That was a few days ago, and I'm at 1918 right now, which is freaking awesome. Getting ever closer to the 2,000 milestone. Um, but yeah, my stats right now, I've got everything but except for mining, smithing, and hunter above 70, which is great. Um, those are probably going to be that way for a long time because I can't stand mining. I don't mind smithing, but mining, no. No, no, sir which means I won't get smithing up for a while. Um, in Dungeoneering, I'm really close to level 91, so that'll soon be my highest level. So yeah, I'm trying to get a lot of Chaotix, just because ever since the Exponential Curve, they're so useful. And since I really like Dungeoneering, and it's pretty quick now to get the tokens, uh, heck, why not? I might even make that my first 99. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm probably going to think of something in about 30 seconds after I stop recording that I forgot to tell you about. But that's pretty much my account. Yeah, 1918 total. My bank, which I did a one inventory price check the other day, and it was 70 mil plus all my coins. So I'm guessing I have about an 80 mil bank right now. If anyone cares about that, I certainly don't. Um, yeah, so pretty cool. I'm excited. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to keep progressing on this account, and I hope to see you guys soon. And look forward to our new guy that's going to be coming out here. Hopefully, I'm not even going to put a date, but hopefully, really soon. We're going to get that out for you guys. It's going to be really great. Anyways, guys, have an awesome day. Sorry this was long, but I just wanted to talk to you guys for a while because you're great, fantastic subscribers. Love each and every one of you. Take care.